What's up, Doc? Dr. Craig Burns with LimitlessPractice.com. Had an idea earlier, driving into the office, gotta get it out of my head, and moving on with stuff. So here it is. I call this the me versus we, or the me and the me and we versus the he and she mindset or role. We also split this up into patient care versus practice development mindset or role. How to compartmentalize your time so that you're not stuck in one or the other mindsets at certain times of the day when you actually should be in the other. And to make sure that you're not like 99%, 1%, you're balanced out. Life's about balance. Physiology's about balance. Chiropractic's about balance. So should practice growth. Yes, most of us are massively unbalanced. And hey, I'll be the first to admit it, I've been unbalanced many a times. So this message is for me to remind myself of something important. It's for the doctors that work on our team to remind them of something important. And it's just to throw out there and hope that it serves another chiropractor, a fellow brother and sister in chiropractic, somehow, some way, in a positive way, okay? Me and we versus he and she. Let's start with the obvious. Patient care, he and she. You're standing next to an adjustment table and it's time to be the chiropractor. There should be no me mindset. It has nothing to do with me. That's a given. But oh my God, I've been there before. And I've had chiropractors who have worked for me before too, where despite my best efforts, they keep talking about shit that they want to talk about. They're focused on me. They're in the wrong mindset. They're not focused on the he and the she that's in front of them that needs to be served in that moment. Hard to do, but it's something we want to try to master. So I try to carry a big stick and beat that ego away, beat that bastard away as often as I possibly can. Fortunately, the longer I do this, the more I think about it, practice it, the better I get. And it's just, this is me and trying to encourage myself, my team, and anybody else out there to know, is it, when is it he and she time? Only, 100%. And there is no me or we. What do I mean by we? I try to keep actually me out of the game as much as possible. That's why I carry the big stick and beat that guy away. Like, you don't belong here. This is not me time. That's for the weekends, that's for the beach. We time is, what does the practice, what does the business need from me and everything that relies on the business, right? The staff, the patients, not just present time patients, but future patients, always trying to think forward on what does the business not need from me just today? What's my workload today? What does my workload need to be or going to be in the future? And how can I proactively address that? That's kind of what I mean by me and we time. So when I step away from the tables, when it's downtime, then I try to transition into me and we time. More so we than me, right? A lot of times we do in our office what interests us or pleases us, and that's a limitation. Excuse the we, kick the we in the ass, get them out of the office and focus on we. What is what 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 does we need in this in this time, in this moment? That's the we mindset, that's stepping into the we role when appropriate, stepping out of it when it needs to be he and she. And again, if you don't like those words, it's when you're in patient care mindset and role versus when you're in practice management development mindset or role. So maybe it's, it might be helpful to you like it is to me to give it some names, compartmentalize your time, pick and choose the, t the times of the day, the week, where it's all about we, very little me, maybe a little, and it's all about he or she standing in front of me, sitting in front of me, laying down in front of me, and that's the only thing I need to be focused on. I don't know. It made sense to me when I was getting ready this morning. It's motivating me. It's got me a little excited to go focus on a little we time, and then I got a bunch of new patients coming in today, so then I focus on shift into gears, he and she time. Long story short, yes, I've struggled with this in the past, and I know that there's plenty of other doctors out there struggle with it too. I hope this message serves you well. If you want to take what you're currently doing, ratchet it up a few notches, encourage, push yourself to think, act, and transact at a higher level than ever before as far as a chiropractor and a business owner, go to LimitlessPractice.com. Adios.